go your own way. Three years ago, we were on one of our month-long RV trips, stopped somewhere beautiful, overlooking the ocean, and I asked my guides and angels to please help me see what I needed to see regarding the offering of this work to the world. I was tired, exhausted from having been trying so hard to be and do the things that my mind said I needed to do and be to get to my dreams and to my next level. I was making myself sick thinking that the next level success me would have to be very different than me (laughs) and trying to figure out and be whatever that is. Nothing was working. I was very successful in my art direction and design business, and that was going beautifully. There was total ease in that. But this work of my heart and soul felt like trying to push a boulder up a sand hill. (laughs) I was heartbroken about it. What I didn't fully understand at the time, but would later is that the reason it was not working was not only because there were places in me that were in disagreement and in need of care, but because I loved myself too much to let myself get any big success with something where I was not going to get to be comfortable and be me. The part of me that loves and wants the best for me was like, no, not that way, not like that. Because I don't want you to have to feel like this. So we're not doing that. For me at that time, that was all the things that I was being taught in the industry that I had to do, quote unquote, to sell my work and to make it appealing and to make people jump on it, quote unquote. And I was deeply uncomfortable with marketing speak the way that it was currently done and is currently done. Trying to appeal to pain points, trying to figure out what people want and offer it to them, to quote, show the ideal outcome, outcome, to quote, use social proof, to quote, paint the picture of their future, to quote, help them cross the fence, put on time crunches, add pressure, add urgency, offer limited time sales, offer special deals so that they will that will help them make their own decision in their own direction. It's good, it's good, they said. Show up constantly, get podcast interviews, take every interview you can get, go networking, email every day, be on social every single minute, offer early birds so they have a reason to buy. If, if you don't offer it, then they won't buy. Price it low, price it high, price it on a sliding scale. All of it just made me sick. But I was telling myself that I just had to buck up and do it. That's just the way it's done. I mean, these people who were living my dream were telling me that's how they did it. So I was listening to that. I was going outside of myself and listening to that. At the time, I had been in business for myself for 22 years and had made millions of dollars in that business without marketing a day in my life. I was sitting on the gold mine of knowing that I did not have to do it that way and my own refusal to have done so all those years and how that paid off huge for me. But I was betraying myself because I thought this is different. This is a totally different thing. So I listened to them when they said, times have changed. You can't do what you used to do anymore. That's only because you or that's only because you are in the business of XYZ. None of that was true. There was a formula to that success, and there are a million formulas for success. There are as many formulas for success as there are human beings. And marketing of every kind can be extremely valuable and effective for both parties in the equation if you are in full agreement with yourself about it and it feels good to you. But it did not to me. 
and I was not listening to myself. Even though the very success and the miracle of a life that I was sitting in, literally sitting in, in that moment was because of me listening to myself and not listening to all of that advice of what people told me I had to do to get ahead in this world. So I was getting nowhere with this fast because the bigger part of me did not want to have to do this then and especially not for the rest of my life. So energetically, there was this giant stop sign in the road ahead. So I prayed. I looked out at the ocean. I closed my eyes and I thanked my guides for helping me see. And the vision that came up in that darkness behind my eyes was... An image of Enya. I'm assuming that you know who Enya is. (laughs) If not, you can look her up. But an image of Enya and an image of the wind in the trees and the words, look it up. I kind of like saw the words or understood the words. So I did. And I found out that one of my favorite all-time musicians who touches and soothes my heart and soul like nothing else for my entire life since I was a child, who has hundreds, who has sold hundreds of millions of albums and is worth hundreds of millions of dollars, is a total introvert recluse who does not do interviews, does not go on tour, and does not do any of the marketing or promotion puppet dances that the industry told her to do. And she is a grand, smashing success, living in a castle in Ireland, doing things her own damn way. I sobbed when I saw this. It was magical. Because I had no idea that any of that was true at the time. And I have been listening to Anya since I was a child. And the message was sent straight to me. It was my guides and angels letting me know that not only can I do this work my way to, but that I must, I must, if I want to get anywhere with it at all, that that is the way that I am a guardian of the work itself to construct the container and boundary from which this work sprung out of. And what I mean by that is this work sprung out of my desire to help people to create and live their most beautiful, joyful, free, and fulfilling existence, to help them get free of the limitations that choke their spirits, to help them align with and realize their desires in ways that blow their own minds. But that came out of my own spaciousness and joy and freedom and fulfillment and my existence in that from my own introverted, no need to convince anybody of my value space within me. And the minute I went outside of that space with some belief that that would pay off in the end or something, or that that's just the way it is and I just have to do that, I was lost to myself and lost to that. So I couldn't possibly bring it (laughs) to anybody. I was lost to it. I went outside of the work into some other thing. And what I didn't know then, but I do know now, is that I needed and wanted to apply the same understanding that I had about my other business to this business, which is the same thing that Enya does in the business of selling her creations, which is simply sharing that thing you do and letting it sell itself by pure desire. Pure desire is clear as a bell. It needs no coercion. It's when your eyes light up and your soul lights up and it's just, yes, yes, this. This happens when you see a sweater or a necklace or a book or a course or a mentor or a designer or a piece of furniture or a tour or a song or a particular healer or a therapist or a photograph 
or a piece of art. It applies to anything and everything. Pure desire has no need of trickery or manipulation. It just is. And I realize that the reason I wanted my things to sell by pure desire is because it was the only option where there was pure choice. The choice springs naturally from within the finder of the thing and there is no coercion needed. Nothing has to be added to that. Your only job is to stay in the work that you love and do and shine. It speaks for itself. All it needs is visibility and it speaks for itself some way, somehow. And like I said, you can be a total introvert recluse and find a way to have visibility. But you find that way that works for you and it speaks for itself. This is not the way for everyone, obviously. But if you are reading or listening this far in this long ass article, I would venture to bet that it's the way for you. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you're millions of dollars in. But in either case, I ask you, how do you want to feel inside your business? How do you want to feel inside your big success? At peace in yourself? Safe? Loved? Proud? Happy? Free? Lit up? Fully alive? Inspired? I'm here to tell you that that is not only possible, it's a must. It's a requirement for you to move powerly forward because you just won't let yourself any other way. You won't allow it. You love your life too much. All over the world, there are those who have played by the rules and won, right? And there are those who broke all the rules and won, which is proof positive that the only common denominator in both of these scenarios is that the player decided they were going to win and they just did not give up on themselves until they did. In both cases, they decided to play and they decided to do it the way that they thought was best. And it worked in both cases. (laughs) There are people who use ads and make multiple millions from the incredible exposure power of ads. And people who've never run an ad in their life and make multiple millions from other kinds of exposure or word of mouth. Paths to success are endless and varied. And the common denominator is belief in what you're doing and inner agreement with yourself. But when we're trying to do something that we don't think is going to work or are in disagreement with ourselves about on some level, we're split in two. And living in a fight inside of ourselves. And that's when you're in Stucksville. But it's only because you love yourself and you're trying to work something out with yourself for your own greater happiness. That's what I was doing. And I'm still doing all the time. (laughs) Resolving points of conflict in me and transmuting them into peace and powerful movement forward. You're on your way. You're doing it. You're doing it right now. And if you'd like some company and some help along the way, my work sells itself course starts January 9th. See you next week, sweethearts. Bye.